Hi Pisces, thank you for being here. I'm going to do your daily reading and find out what messages spirits have for you. Okay, so we have concern and a mature woman. What's happening with Pisces? Official person. Adjudication. Distant horizons. Great fortune. What's happening with Pisces? Bad health. Child, the lovers, courtship is on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so let's clarify, Pisces. Why is concern here, spirits? Concern is the very first card. The Nine of Wands. I'm feeling like this is the past for most of you, this first row. But this is a general reading. Um... I'm seeing you very tired here, some confusion, worry, five of wands, conflict with other people possibly, some type of a conflict of an inner battle and confusion. With the nine of wands, there's an energy there of being tired. Um... There's concern for the future. And then we have mature woman. This could be... If this is you, which we're going to clarify right now, take it as male or female. Why is mature woman here? Six of cups. The Lovers, Gemini Energy, and the Two of Cups. This is like unbelievable energy that just came out of the deck. This is you. It's like there's still some hope here for a connection. And... The reason why is because with the Six of Cups, the Lovers, and the Two of Cups, this is a very strong soul twin flame connection. And within this connection, mature woman is showing up. I'm feeling like this is like this mature woman, this is you having thoughts about this connection. This is definitely a soul tie that you can feel. But I feel like something happened in this connection where there was a conflict here. Um, someone might have been looking at other options. But there's an energy here of not wanting to give up on this connection with the Nine of Wands. And then we have official person. Why is official person? Okay, so we have the Page of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. And the Hierophant. I'm seeing... Um, like, 
a legal matter, possibly a divorce, something along those lines of some type of legal matter here because I'm seeing a committed relationship. You could be dealing with a Taurus with the Hierophant here, but there's an energy of holding back communication and watching someone. Yeah, there's, but holding on to this at the same time, even though there's a conflict here. And so with judication showing up next, you could be going through a divorce or making a judgment call for yourself. Why is judication here? Ace of Cups. I'm feeling like this is judgment time. The Ace of Cups. The Eight of Cups. And the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this is judgment. Judgment time. What stands in between on both sides of judgment is there's a painful ending on one side. And the Ten of Cups, this is complete emotional fulfillment, complete happiness. And trying to heal over this. I see here on both sides that, that both of you want this connection with the Ace of Wands. There's a lot of passion here. But there's still... This energy I'm seeing here is someone could be having some type of a legal matter with someone else. And this person is walking away from another connection with someone else because I feel like there's a third party involved here. There's a third party situation where this, this other twin in this soul connection is walking away from that, that new love. There was new love in their life. Why is the Ace of Cups here? The Ace of Swords. So, this is communication. This is the truth. This person's coming back towards you with communication. This Ace of Swords. Why is Distant Horizons here? The Page of Cups. This is a message that you'll be receiving. I'm feeling like someone is at a distance from you. The Five of Swords. So in the center of your reading here, Distant horizon, someone at a distance from you possibly or emotionally at a distance, something about distance. Um, there's someone that comes in with communication with this page of cups, which is text messages, maybe an email. And it's someone who wants to fight for this connection. They're they're willing to, to give up everything just to have you. They see you as their empress. There's no, this person's feeling defeated. They just want their empress back. Male or female, take that how it resonates. They're willing to fight for this connection. Because they know this is a twin flame soul connection. They cannot forget about you. 
And then we have Great Fortune. Why is Great Fortune here? The Hangman, Pisces Energy. Ten of Swords. And Judgment. This is your judgment call, Pisces. It's like you're looking at things from, from the past. Because judgment is here. You can't make judgment on something that hasn't even happened yet. This is about raising something from the dead. There was a painful ending, a betrayal. Someone left you hanging here in your mind and in your head. And I feel like you've made a judgment call, you know, to, to let this go. And out of this judgment call, it's like there's this light bulb going off in your head, like an epiphany moment. Why is the hangman here? You're looking at this whole thing differently now. Blindfolded with the Two of Swords. Um, not making a decision. There's a decision that you need to make, Pisces. And you're not making it. There's a lot of success in your life. A brand new beginning here. Uh, this is someone who's been closed off. Someone that you haven't heard from is coming, charging back in your life. And I'm seeing you in this energy of what, what should I do with the two of swords kind of closed off. And let's see what this bad health is. You're having a lot of victory, success in your life. A brand new beginning. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. I feel like this person um, has lost money, which I think I've seen before in the Pisces readings. It feels like they're up in their head, they're lo they've lost money, they're having a hard time sleeping. It's like it's really affecting this person and they miss you. I can see that very clearly here that this person misses you, Pisces. And so what I'm seeing here is they're up in their head about coming to you. The Page of Wands, this is a, a messenger starting this brand new beginning with you. This is what they're up in their head about. And there could be a child involved for some of you. Why is child here? There could be a child that, um, I don't know. I see like a baby here. I'm also seeing like an, like a older child, but still a child. Why is child here? The magician. 
Nine of Cups. And the Chariot's Cancer Energy. This person is, is manifesting you, Pisces, but both of these energies, it's like they want to come towards you very quickly, but both of these are like an immature energy where they haven't quite figured out how to put things together just right. They have everything they need to come towards you because they see you as this wish fulfillment. But it's like they don't have control of the chariot. The, the sphinxes here are facing different directions. And so, and with the magician, this is someone who has all of the tools in front of them that they need to manifest. But they're, they need to learn how to use all of this. So they're... They're wanting to come towards you very quickly, but they're trying to manifest. And then we end with the lovers. Why are the lovers here? And I just have to do it. I have to get another deck to clarify the lovers. To see if that lovers wants to come out again. Yeah, see, there's a change. There's a shift in the energy here with the Wheel of Fortune. Why are the lovers here? The Alchemist. This is the Magician. The sun, Leo energy, and the eight of cups, justice, see it's karma, it's divine timing, this is Libra energy, if this reading is for you, um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn because we have the devil and sitting next to Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy is how we end this reading. But you could be dealing with any sign, but this is a karmic, um, this is a connection that is really hard to release. It's a twin flame soulmate connection. Wow. Justice coming back around again. There were still all of these cups standing when someone left. There was still a lot of love here when this leaving occurred. And so next to the alchemist, we have the sun card. It's the yes card. It's healing. And, um... It is the happiest card in tarot. Someone who walked away is coming back around again, Pisces. Okay, so let's see what this person wants to say to you. I think this is the same energy we had yesterday. Someone doesn't want to let go of their Pisces. Okay. And just shuffle this one time. 
This person's very attracted to you, Pisces. Okay, if you're dealing with a Pisces, if not, this is your energy. We will be together again. Cancer. I know that I crossed the line with you. Scorpio. I've been here before with others. Aries. I wish things could be different. Leo. I hope I will see you again sometime. Sagittarius. I hid who I really am from you. Aquarius. I love you unconditionally. Libra. I can still see you standing there. Gemini. So many things remind me of you. Taurus. I am becoming a better person. Virgo. I wondered how far this would go. Capricorn. I love myself enough to walk away. And for everyone on the bottom of the deck, I hope that you can forgive me one day. Leaving you hurts me too. I pretend you don't mean that much. And I am afraid to contact you. And let me get your Moonology cards for advice, Pisces. Okay. Advice for Pisces spirits. Prosperity lies ahead. Don't let pride get in your way. You and your loved ones are safe. The answers you need are coming. And the end of a tough cycle approaches. And on the bottom of the deck, surrender to the divine. Okay, Pisces. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for all of your beautiful comments and liking and subscribing. And I will see you guys tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.